We only have one Earth and we've done a pretty good job of polluting it. Global warming, I mean, it's happening. Everyone needs to take a step and take a part. Our actions here will eventually determine the environment we live in. We really need to take the steps to making our world a better place. For more than 80 years, SPC has helped thousands of students obtain the skills and knowledge to pursue their dreams. The opening of the St. Pete Gibbs Campus Student Services Building marks a milestone for St. Petersburg College in demonstrating to the community its commitment to becoming a leader in the environmental movement. I think it's important that our new building is environmentally friendly to show not only our students but the marketplace itself that sustainable development is possible and it has uh, direct benefits for the community. In accordance with the 2008 Florida Energy Bill, St. Petersburg College constructed the new 44,000 square foot student services building to meet and exceed several core criteria of LEED certification, a third party rating system for green building construction. The importance of getting a LEED certification to St. Petersburg College is that uh, we're being sensitive to the environment. It also ties in with new programs that we're developing as curriculum for the college. A complete whole building approach was used in the construction of the facility with a comprehensive look at several key areas in human and environmental health, sustainable site development, water savings, energy efficiency, material selection, and indoor environmental quality. To decrease pollution and negative impact on the environment, the site of the new Student Services Building was carefully selected based on location, elevation, previous use, and the absence of an endangered wildlife habitat. Additional factors included access to local businesses and public bus lines. The front of the Student Services Building, you know, the, f the first row of parking is just for hybrid cars. And you know, this makes people realize these things are rewarded, then I think more people will start doing it. Additionally, secure bicycle storage was implemented to encourage alternate transportation. To reduce strain on the natural environment and reduce the impact on landfills and incinerators, 66% of construction, demolition, and land clearing waste was recycled. As a result, 380 tons of concrete were diverted from the local landfill. One of our goals here is to make sure that we use as much recyclable material as possible and, and anything that we got rid of that were a scrap, we sent back and recycled it also. To increase demand on regional manufacturing and discourage long distance shipping, 10% of the weight of the materials or products used in the building were manufactured within 500 miles of the site. To reduce depletion of finite raw materials, over 50% of the wood-based materials and products such as doors, millwork, and laminates are certified in accordance with the Forest Stewardship Council. To decrease the impact on local aquifer and municipal water providers, reclaimed water was used for site landscaping irrigation and cooling towers. We're using at least 30% less water in this building and, and in the, the, the area directly around it. We're using low flow uh, sinks, waterless urinals, um, dual flush toilets. We have used Florida native uh, vegetation that is uh, more resistant to droughts. All of that together uh, helps in, the, uh, in using less, less water. The building was also designed to exceed local energy codes. All exterior glass features low E coatings, resulting in increased energy efficiency. The roof on the Student Services Building is made of a white membrane. Using the white roof um, increases the reflectivity during the day, and therefore you have less heat gain in the building and need less insulation. To increase the quality of indoor air, the building was designed to meet a federally specific indoor air quality standard and smoking is prohibited within 25 feet of all entries. We put this uh, large fan in this atrium here which lowers the uh, temperature by six degrees in the building so in turn using 
less air conditioning. We've also put a lot of glass in the front of the building here so that we use less light into the building. The building also minimizes and controls pollutant entry into the interior through permanent entryway systems that captures dirt and particles. To encourage innovation in design and encourage greater appreciation, the site features a large butterfly garden at the main building entry point. The college has implemented an Energy Star purchasing policy to further reduce energy consumption through appliances and equipment selections. By 2010, the college's entire custodial program will be converted to green cleaning practices. We use green cleaning products throughout this facility and we're moving towards doing that in all of our facilities. Uh, microfiber cloth for cleaning, for mopping, um, and trying to just reduce the amount of chemicals that we use. In addition to green construction, SPC has developed environmental education programs to train professionals in sustainability. At the college, we, uh, we see the importance of, of providing environmental education to our students and to the community, so we're in the process of developing three new programs. The college is developing a natural habitat park and environmental center on the Seminole campus that will serve as an educational environmental and passive recreational green zone for use by SPC students, faculty, staff, and the community. In a time where it's, you know, the budgets and stuff are so tight and you're hearing about all the cutbacks and stuff, to roll out some of these projects, I think it's really kind of, you know, stepping up and, and, and stepping out saying that we're going to do something that we care about, you know, being sustainable and being environmentally friendly. Through renewed public interest, environmentally friendly construction, academic programs, and college-wide initiatives, SPC plans to become a leader of the sustainability movement both inside the classroom and within the community. I think through uh, putting a, uh, into practice what we uh, say, uh, that it is a message for our children and our grandchildren that uh, the things that we hold so dearly, if we want them for future generations, they must be handled in a special way. For more information on St. Petersburg College's Office for Sustainability, visit www.spcollege.edu, keyword sustainability, or call 727-341-4772. St. Petersburg College, know no limits. <laughs>